largest power of 2 and 10, that is the divisor of 10 factorial. So starting with 2, we want to look at factors of 2 in here. So that means we're only going to look at even numbers. And then from the even numbers, we want to look at the uh, how many times 2 shows up. So for 2, that's just 2 to the first. For factorial, there's only two 2's. 2 to the sixth, there's only one 2. And then 2 to the eighth, there's three 2's. And then for 10, there's only one 2. So in total, if we were to add all, all of these 2's, we have 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1. That's going to give us 8 2's. Now we move on to 10. For 10, we know that 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So we want to find the minimum time that 2 and 5 show up as a factor of 10 factorial. So for 2, we know there's going to be 8 of them. But for 5, how many times does 5 show up in 10? Well, that's only going to be multiples of 5. So that's 5 and 10. So 5 shows up one time for 5, and then for uh, for 10, it shows up once again. So that's going to give us a total of two fives. So that's 5 squared. So we look at the minimum time that shows up. 8 and 2, that's going to be a, a total of 2. So 10 shows up twice in 10 factorial.